The Office of Naval Research. Innovations for the Future Force. Our Navy has a global maritime mission to be where it matters, when it matters. And we do that with our sailors and Marines, innovative, resourceful, and effective fighting force. The Office of Naval Research's mission is to enable that, to discover, develop, and deliver breakthrough technologies that provide that technological advantage for our sailors and Marines so they can fight the fight and keep the peace. ONR is at the forefront of science and technology. By investing in collaborative research and experimentation, ONR is able to provide responsive solutions and innovations. Experimentation programs provide needed funding for difficult leap ahead projects that may have a high risk, but have a high payoff when they succeed. We're working on night vision goggles. The Marine Corps said, you know, I need night vision goggles that I can use on my weapon and sight the weapon like I normally do. The current night vision goggles are 13 inches long and they have a whole list of problems with it. So we came up with the idea of making night vision goggles look like their ballistic eyewear. Talk about the future force. Railgun is a revolutionary advancement in naval gun technology. Success is enabling rapid progress toward multi-mission applications, which will provide affordable tactical solutions to costly challenges. We've proven that if you build it big enough, we can fire it and it works. Um, and we've also shown that you can fire it several times and the life of the barrel, the durability of the barrel is we've got it to significant levels. But we're not done yet. Autonomy research is helping our sailors and Marines by handling details that can be done by computers, keeping them out of certain hazardous situations so they can get on with higher decision making. For example, with autonomous swarm boats, unmanned Navy vessels can overwhelm an adversary. A first of its kind technology enables swarming capability and provides warfighters a decisive edge. So one of the programs I'm managing is developing autonomous control for small boats. The autonomy and the unmanned vessels will enable new missions and new capabilities that we cannot do today using existing platforms. ONR is also developing a new capability for unmanned flight known as the Autonomous Aerial Cargo Utility System, ACUS. Different helicopters can become ACUS enabled to increase flexibility. Getting our people what they need when they need it saves lives and any sailor or Marine can operate ACUS with a mobile device. We're doing something that no one else is doing because we're doing it on a full size helicopter. A lot of what we're doing revolves around obstacle detection and avoidance and then also landing a helicopter in a degraded visual environment. As the Arctic changes and sea ice retreats, operational demands on the U.S. Navy will increase. Cutting-edge ONR research in the Arctic is key to Navy leadership in this vast, challenging region. ONR Robotics also paves the way with SAFER, an electromechanical robot which will learn to fight fires aboard ships. Helping our warriors win and come home safe also involves improving the skills they need to perform in high-stress, uncertain environments. ONR is improving warrior resilience and decision-making through advanced training and simulations. So we're moving beyond just virtual reality to now be able to provide something that's actually in a real environment, just injecting virtual objects that aren't there. Whether aboard ship or ashore, training exercises of the future will be much more integrated and involve a mix of simulation and live experiences. Integrated training is a way to have the fleet and large number of the fleet work together and practice training in the way they would actually fight. We're tying in simulators across the country. We're also tying them into live aircraft as they're flying along. And we're also making computer entities that can play a part of it and get some really complex mission scenarios and test them out and train people on them. Preparing for the future force means looking ahead even as we work and build today. Delivering new capabilities for the warfighter requires visionary scientific research. If you think of a ship as a floating city, how would you go about building an entire city and all the infrastructure that goes along with that little island out there in the world? We make a bad decision, we have a ship that only lasts 10 years instead of 30, 40, or 50 years. We have ships that we can't insert new technology into. People are our most important asset. They're the intellectual capital resource uh, for the Office of Naval Research. Being able to discover and develop and deliver breakthrough technologies is a full-time job. 
and we need to continue to foster and mature the people and their ability to do that technological work. The Chief of Naval Research and the Office of Naval Research is committed to ensuring that we have the S&T people, we have the organizational constructs, and the mission capabilities to contribute to that war fighting first, operating forward, and being ready. For more information, contact the Office of Naval Research.